Hi there. In this video, we are going to discuss using model magic to cover your armature. We've talked before about creating an armature using newspaper and tape, and we've talked about how to put a pipe cleaner in it so that you can bend the arms and legs if you wanted to. Now, you do not have to put um, pipe cleaners in there if you don't want to. You can leave it like that. You don't have to necessarily put model magic or um, plaster wrap or um, paper mache or anything over that. If you want to paint this as is, that's completely fine. I would use acrylic paint. You can use um, the stuff out of the tubes, the, the Liquitex or whatever um, brand, or you could use the little apple barrel jars if you wanted to. Any of those should work completely fine on painting the tape. Um, but let it dry before you go to do anything else, like add yarn um, for the for the details. If you want to use wiggly eyes or um, googly eyes for the top, that's completely fine. If you wanted to use yarn for the hair, all of those things can be added with glue later on. But um, if you're wanting to add Model Magic, Model Magic comes in a little package like this. They have different colors, or they have white, and then the white you can paint afterwards. But this will allow you to go ahead and add some cool details to it. Um, and to make it a little bit more smooth and add some clothing details and that kind of stuff afterwards, nose, all that stuff. Um, so anyway, it comes in a little package like this and what it looks like is a chunk like this. Um, it's kind of a cool texture. Um, it's almost like foamy, kind of. Feels a little bit like um, Play-Doh, but a little bit lighter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that and I am going to go ahead and just start covering the armature with it. I'm going to take it and kind of flatten it out a little bit. I don't want it too thick for this, but I am going to go ahead and do this and start smoothing it together wherever those two pieces come together. I'm going to cover the entire thing with this. And what I can do later is I can paint this. This is a great material to work with because it's really flexible. You can make things out of this without making the armature underneath if you would like also. Um, you can use it just to sculpt different things. That's completely an acceptable thing to do. But um, one of the things that we've tried to do is give you a little more um, ability to create a solid object with this. This, as you can see, isn't a very big piece. And so it goes a lot farther if you're just using it to put an outside shell around something else. Okay, so it kind of goes farther this way and you don't have to get as much. You can use the newspaper and the masking tape. And it also allows you, um, I feel like when you use just the model magic, it's not quite as sturdy. Like um, if you make something, it might collapse if it's too big. I'm just gonna use this little stylus to kind of smooth out this part in here because I can't quite get my finger in there. And you can use the stylus to go ahead and add other details later on too to kind of draw in it. Um, like I said, the modeling magic, the model magic is, it's a really cool material, but um, for a solid object, sometimes if it gets too heavy, like if you're going to make an animal and the body's too big, the legs aren't going to hold it up and it might collapse. So if you make an armature out of newspaper, that might make it sturdier and might make it hold better. Okay, but you can do either one, honestly. This just works really well if you want to make something a little bit sturdier. And then you can use this as a cool way to add details and to cover the outside part. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover this whole thing with the Model Magic. And then, like I said, I can add details. The cool thing about this is it will stay moist for several hours to allow you to work with it. But you'll be able to tell that it starts getting kind of stiff and um, it will start to dry out eventually. So you have a few hours. If you put it in a Ziploc bag or a plastic container of some kind, you might get yourself a little bit more time to work with it, but I wouldn't probably try to work with it for more than a day just because it will start to dry out and it'll get very, very rubbery and you'll find that you have to, when you pull it off, it doesn't tear as easily, it just kind of breaks. And then you know you're kind of getting to the end of your time to work with it and you better get done really fast because otherwise it's gonna to be too dry and it's not going to stick with it to itself anymore. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of out of the question to do. 
it's not going to piece together like it's supposed to. It's just going to stay in one solid chunk. Okay, and once it's dry, it's really easy to paint it. So this is another cool reason to work with this. And later on, once I get done putting this all on here, I can go ahead and add some cool details to the face. But I want to get it totally covered first. I'll go ahead and post some other pictures of things that were made with this and you can see what you think of those. I've got some other student examples, I think, hopefully I can find them, that were made with this. Okay. Now, you want to make sure, again, that you're flattening it out because if it's too thick, you're going to have one area that takes way longer to dry than the others. Oops. It is very sticky. It will stick to itself. It's not going to stick to a lot of other things, but it will stick to itself. I also like this um, being that it's not colored because you don't have to worry about, like, I can use this whole thing all over here and I don't have to worry about like it being blue and the color of, you know, up here being yellow and then it blending together in the middle. If you want to do that, you can, but I have found it easier just to do it all one color and then go back later and paint it. Students seem to like that, like I said, because you might not have the color that you want for the legs and it might just be easier to paint it. Okay, so I will go ahead and finish this up, and I'll show you how to do the other things in another video.